WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&Ps all trading higher. Dow closing at a record yesterday and record territory if they close where they're at today. Dow Jones up 51 points right now, trading 27,744. You got the NASDAQ up 28 points at 84.92. S&P's up nine points at 3,096. I mean, you look at it, we could get a 3,100 print in the S&P today. We could get a 28,000 print in the Dow Jones today. It is early, a half hour into trading. Gold contract, negative $4 at 14.53. We've got silver off seven cents at 16.72. And we've got notes and bonds back open today after being closed yesterday for Veterans Day. Pretty muted action. The 10-year off one tick at 128.11. The 30-year off one tick as well at 156.15. And the dollar index with plus in the green, 133 ticks at 98.332. We'll start things off. Let's jump over the charts. One of the big movers today will be President Trump speaking in New York starting at noon. There's your chart of the Dow, 27,700 on the dot. Looking at the futures, just under the highs we made overnight, about 15 points off that level, 27,715. NASDAQ 100, just above that level we made overnight, now trading 82.75. There's your S&Ps catching quite a bit, 3,096. You back things up for some reference, the high in that future, if we can find it, I believe 3,097, so right up against all-time intraday highs on the S&P. Crude oil market, $57.28 right now. There's your gold contract trading at 14.52.71, and the euro US dollar trading at 110.16. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, big day for Disney as they launched their Disney Plus service, streaming service, to compete with the likes of Netflix and the likes of Amazon Prime. Disney launching that service. You can bundle it with Hulu and ESPN Plus for $12.99. I believe Disney by itself costing $6.99, $5.99. Pretty remarkable price tag. And uh, that's off to the races. Checking over for Disney to see how those shares are trading on day one of their new streaming service. You had a little bit of a pop pre-market, and uh, those loss, those gains, I should say, pairing a bit, but still, Disney up about 43 cents, or about three-tenths percent. Other stocks in the news, Tyson Foods, with their earnings, look to open lower. Quite a rebound. We'll be right back, folks.